Hello guys and welcome to this new video. Now in this new video will be about the resurrection norm build 8 6.8 .8 for the Zenfone 5 and this video will come in three different parts. Okay, so I'm shooting the first part as of now. So this is the ROM that I have, you know, installed. It was a fresh install. Okay, on the first install after rebooting up, I saw that I could not start up the Wi-Fi at all. But I went into the bootloader and I did a full form factory reset and now the Wi-Fi works very nice so I can just switch it off and switch it on and there won't be any screen freezes or stuff like that. Okay, that didn't turn on. Okay, it did work the last few times but as you can see there's a slight screen freeze over there and now it's again turning on of course. It says no saved networks where I do have a saved network anyway it still says turning Wi-Fi on so that's an error it happened with me even when you know I first booted up now factory reset it did work for a few times and now it's again not working however the second thing that many people has you know requested to test was that the call freeze you know the freezing after the calls I did test out on only sim 1 because my sim 2 slot is doesn't work at all so I did test it out on sim 1 okay if the sim was sort 1 so I had a Vodafone sim over here and I had a Vodafone sim over here this is the U euphoria by the way and I disconnected the call from both the ends and it seemed very okay you know this call the screen did not freeze even when the, it was an incoming call or it was an outgoing call or if I disconnect from here or I disconnect from this device so I did not experience the call freeze at all so if you are experiencing call freeze I'll you know, tell you to just go and get a clean install of the whole ROM and it would probably be okay for you the next new thing in this ROM that you should know is of course the themer launcher which is basically a new launcher and the themer app from the XDA forums okay it's very nice it's very customizable it has a lot of themes that can be downloaded in case I do not have an internet connection now because the Wi-Fi isn't working so there's a lot of themes and it's very customizable so it's a better launcher much more than the trebuchet that comes with resurrection ROM or cyanogen mod to be honest if you head over into the settings you can see a new thing called the pitch black okay and so this is the exactly the pitch black theme that was also present in the previous build so it's back now there's one new thing inside this um, settings menu and in this new build which you can see is privacy settings so if you head over there as you can see you can privacy guard and you can change what permissions each as have or what notifications each app show and it's quite useful if you, you know, want to restrict some apps notifications so it's quite useful there's nothing new in this ROM to be exact okay if you just go into about you can see the Android version is 5.1.1 and you can see the Android security patch level is October 1st, 2015 which was 5.1.1 underscore R24 release. So we also have the resurrection from version 5.5.8. Now I'll try out some custom ROMs or the custom kernels on this ROM and I'll come back you know, after this video. So hold on and I'll just do the custom ROM you know, custom kernels I'll flash the vital kernel on the 6.2 build and I'll test it out and I'll update the new video tomorrow so thank you guys for watching this video and if you want regular updates on what's going on with this ROM and how the other kernels are performing along with this ROM please hit the subscribe button for new videos and follow the Facebook page which will be linked down below in the description there are many ongoing discussions going on over there so you can always find the latest updates so one more thing that I should say before ending this video is that this ROM is very stable okay there's no need to consider this ROM unstable it's very stable for daily use it has a battery drain as you can see okay so I'll just head over into the battery section I charge it up a bit right now and I cannot show you but it has a huge battery drain so it is a battery drain and a Wi-Fi problem the call freeze might be due to the you know incompatible motherboard with the screen unlock otherwise it's very compatible okay it's very ready for daily usage it's very smooth and buttery and it has most of the apps but you do need to install G apps separately so I think it can be fixed with a custom kernel or a kernel from the previous builds I will we'll test that out and report it further in a new video and also live updates on the 
Facebook page. So thank you guys for watching and if you want more videos and further videos on this build, don't forget to hit subscribe and come back. I'll see you guys in the next one.